welcome to Nassau. Tourist epicenter of Bahamas. We've heard from cruisers that it's too touristy or it's unsafe, so we decided we're gonna check it out today. We had to come here anyway. Olivia has an orthodontist appointment, so we decided to get a marina and decided why not check it out for ourselves, so come on. Murder, gang crime, theft, violent crime. You'd think this place was utter chaos. Add on top of it, the week we've had. We lost our stern anchor. Played that stern anchor yesterday or the day before, and we decided we're gonna move to a less rolling anchorage today. I can't even pull all the chain out. We had 24 to 30 knots of wind for four days straight. And we drank too much Goombe Smash. Hmm. So glad to be near land for the next few days as we attend to an orthodontist visit. But first, is Nassau safe for sailors? Is it too touristy for cruisers such as us? Let's find out. So we just finished the orthodontist and we're heading back towards the waterfront on Collins Street. And pretty trees. The cat, we had a cab driver on the way there to the orthodontist and he gave us a lot of ideas on places to go, things to see. A few tips on where to grab lunch. And uh, it's a busy town. It is a busy town, and I hope that we're able to do some of the things he suggested, but it's hard to do everything in one day. It is, but the town is a bustling city, and uh, it's pretty so far. We love it. And uh, we're going to grab some lunch. Whew. This is a big hill we're on. This is a huge hill. This is a big hill. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> How's the walk? Fantastic. Fun. Yeah, good walk. Yeah. I don't know what all the hype is for. Fresh it's got breeze. A very good Bohemian flair to the whole little town that I wasn't expecting. It does have a Bohemian flair. I love it. And fresh breeze all the way through these streets too, huh? I kind of just want to go in this place because it looks cool. It does look yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> we have Coke flags. We have Coca-Cola flags out front. Bahamian Bistro. It reminds me of the coffee shop back at Kima. Uh, go here. This is a beautiful looking restaurant. Uh, is it like open? That. It's only uh, 10 15. Walking a lot faster than we thought. <laughs> I think we should probably find something to do. It's a cute place. Very touristy here. Yeah. All right. It's on a scale right of one to, to ten on touristy level, this is ten. This is cruise ship. Cruise ship port, yeah. All right. But still cool, right? No. Still cool. I mean, I mean you still want to get like a little souvenir, but you're like, ah, I want to wait till I get to an out island. I think. <laughs> All right. So we're almost in downtown Nassau, and uh, that was a cool little trinket store we went through. Apparently, it's 10:30 a.m. The cruise ships have arrived, and we have tourists, so fanny packs, tank tops, you know, vacay mode for everybody. So this is actually the first touristy taste we've had so far. It was fun, actually. There's energy to it, trinkets and gadgets and a little convenience store. I feel New Orleans kind of got vibe right here. So let's go we'll check it out. touristy era. Come by the cruise ships. <laughs> this is what the, those cruisers are talking about. This is 10 out of 10 touristy. Alright, so check this out. Check this out. I like the more low-key area. 
But nothing wrong here. I mean, you know, this is activity. And there's a lot, it's very pretty and a lot to see. in Touristville. We've made our way back down toward the marinas and this is the fish market. So we're going to go check it out. Okay, we're at McKenzie's Seafood and we're having a fresh conch salad. It's really good. Really fresh. The tomatoes are great. So it's really busy here. I don't feel overly touristy. We haven't been ransacked by crime. We'll look up some stats later. And we'll share if there's actually crime here versus other cities in America. Right on the left hand side. Right. Be on the left. You see? Yeah. Hey, you guys want to go to so we're across the street from the marina, and it's got this huge shopping center that has shopping center. <laughs> And it has a huge shopping center that has everything you can think of. Starbucks, Minchies, Domino's. Minchies! There's a fresh food and market. Dairy Queen. If you need cellular service, there's a live. There's a bank. Everything you can think of right across the street. It's so convenient. The Domino's and the Dairy Queen are all in one building, so you get pizza and ice cream. Good stuff. Right. And then there's Real, Minchies. Really good so, stuff. <laughs> I'm in heaven. The Me American too. American girl's in heaven. Air fries and french fries. All right, so how was today? What did you love about Nassau? Oh my gosh. So I was really surprised by Nassau. I was thinking that it was going to be like big city life, these huge buildings, just, you know, that's what I thought. We got here and it was very surprised. It's very, has still that bohemian vibe that you, we've seen in the other islands. So I was really surprised by that. Um, I like that feel better than what I was expecting. Uh, definitely like that. And then, I don't know, we were walking down the streets and, you know, doing some different things. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, I just felt like it could have been any place in America that I was at. But with really pretty buildings, pretty colors. I don't know. Just felt like normal. Felt normal. I was surprised. I was excited. I liked it. Okay, so I'm curious. Um... Anytime I hear the rumors, the one-off reports, the Facebook group reports, or the forums where people, cruisers and sailboaters will tell an incident about someone uh, having theft, I'm very curious, well, what's the overall crime and, and what is the real threat? I want the facts. So I looked up the stats and the best I can find is that there are some crimes in Nassau. Nassau and Freeport are probably the most crime-rich um, areas in the Bahamas. And um, there are kind of three, four main areas of crime. Uh, unlicensed boat operators, uh, unlicensed jet ski operators. Those are kind of the biggest areas of crime that affect tourists. Um, there's petty theft and um, ATM scam, violent crime in Nassau. But it's south of Shirley Street. It is in a place called Over the Hill. And apparently it's related, not tourist related, it's related to people breaking into homes, um, crimes amongst, you know, the citizens here in Nassau, unfortunately. And so we didn't know this today and that's where we went walking. So the video footage we shared with you, very pretty part of town, uh, nice neighborhoods, um, much larger than where we walked, but that's part of where they say don't walk, that's where we walk today, and I, I enjoyed it. But like Nancy said, common sense goes a long way here, and I think by and large the people in NASA are amazing. It's the same Bahamas vibe, everybody is so friendly, kind and cur uh, you know, courteous. It's just a great place, I love it a lot. Thanks for watching this uh, quick video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week as we tackle our toughest sale yet and continue exploring the paradise of the Bahamas. See you soon.